Hello, this is the headlining news across the East African region from Tanzania. Tanzania is said to get a new bridge in Dar es Salaam that will measure four and a half kilometers in length. This follows the signing of an agreement with South Korea to construct the bridge on Monday. The city is still getting used to the Super Nyerere Bridge commissioned a couple of years back to connect the city to Kigamboni area. News from Rwanda. Rwandans were grief stricken on Sunday by news of the death of a popular sports promoter, Jean Batitse Rugambwa, founder of the country's most popular cycling club. Rugambwa died in an accident in the north of the country where his car collided with a truck as he tried to overtake a bus. We move on to Uganda. An angry mob clobbered three armed soldiers of the Uganda People's Defense Forces to death after suspecting them of being on a robbery mission. The soldiers attached to Vura Customs Post on the Congo border were arrested by villagers eight kilometers away from their duty station. It is not yet clear what they were doing there in uniform and armed with submachine guns. The army is tight-lipped about the incident, but several suspects have have been held over the murders. Eyewitnesses said the soldiers underestimated the anger of the crowd and had willingly handed over their guns when challenged. The villagers handed over the guns to the local police station. Finally, from Kenya. A Kenyan court in Vajira has sentenced 35 Ethiopians of illegally entering and staying in the country. All 35 accused pleaded guilty and were sentenced to one month in prison and a fine of 50,000 shillings, which is equal to $500. They also faced deportation on payment of the fine or completion of their sentence and were given 14 days to appeal. That was the headlining news across the East African region.